19 warrant articles. Are we going to do That's we're going to work on some now. of those. Uh, Mr. Chairman, before you do, um, I'd like the board to consider, as you have done in each year previous to this, on the provisions of RSA 40, colon 13, Roman 5, small a, that all votes regarding warrant articles and recommendations thereof be, be uh, numerically reported on the warrant. Yes. Good. Do we need a motion for that? Yes, sir, you do. I'll make that motion. I'll motion. Second. second. Yes. All those in favor? Unanimous. Excellent. Okay. So you all got your packet yep. of they had. And, Where do uh, we start? Well, the first one is the election of officers, so that needs, that's, we don't, we don't need to do that. <laughs> Second one that's in the packet is the budget, yeah. and we don't have that back, and so we won't have that until we get that back from the budget committee. Right. right. And the next one is the amendments and zoning articles right. and collective bargaining. So the first one that we have for a money article is the one to purchase the old gas station at Winnicunna and Lafayette. Who's going to, you want to read the, I'll ha be happy to read it if you want me to. And well, we actually, just... if you're going to do this, <clears throat> my advice is that you do this with an article of eminent domain. So there's no question about clearing the title of that property, which has been a Brownsfield site. So you're going to insert extra wording in here? Well, I would ask council to oh. do that if that was appropriate. Um, so w why don't we come back to that one? So if, if, if we want to do that under eminent domain. Uh, I'd, I'd just like to say. I think there's a lot of money right now yeah. for other stuff. Yeah, yeah I would like to say I don't even want to do it. Right. I mean, I would love to do it. I think it's where I think is it? I right at the, the gas station. Right 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 I know that, but where is it on this thing? Oh, it's well, a, it's coming it's from the, the UFB. It's the first money article. And it's a smart it's thing to do, I think. And I like that eminent domain. Right. If we're going to do something with it, I think eminent domain is a definite if way to go. You need to clear the title if you're going to do it. However, yeah. however, I, I just think that, that we're, we're talking about maybe ending up this year <clears> to take money out of the, the unassigned fund balance. Correct. To go into. I mean, I think it's a... Uh, something that needs to be done desperately, but I don't think we should do it this year. Yeah. That's my well, opinion. I, I if, you, if you look at the, the 2018 budget and the, the projected 2019 budget with the warrant articles you have in front of you, this may not be the end of warrant articles because petitions can come in as right. well. In order to keep the two in balance, you're going to have to kill at least $1,404,000 worth of them. Are we looking to vote on these tonight, which ones no. we don't want? No, we're no. just looking at whether we want to go forward with them or not. Okay. That's up to you. So I would like to you're see looking to, for us to come up with a common um, consensus like if we want to bring this forward. Yes, sir. I'm against this one. I'm yeah. against. But even if it's in a domain, you still pay for it. You still have to pay for it. Out of the UFB, and it's an, a dreadful eyesore yeah. from the center. It's $525,000. Dreadful eysore. So we'll clean up the town and we'll slow traffic down if we yeah. put something there that yeah. will I'm maybe against attract it. people. Yeah, I'm against it. Well, I'm not against it, but I'm against it this year. Yeah. Well, that's uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Then we have a consensus. You know, we'll that's a off. consensus. I'm against. I'm. I'm not for well, it this year. It. I think we got more to do. Okay. I'm all for someone buying. I wouldn't with you. But all of a sudden, the price is much higher than it, what it was. Oh yeah. Back, yeah. So yeah. Okay. someone's going to buy that when the price is okay. right. We don't. Absolutely. Absolutely. The next one is uh, DPW vehicle purchases. I have questions on that. Okay. And I brought my vehicle list from the budget book. Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of 423165 for the purchase of the following replacement vehicles for the DPW? One six-wheel dump truck with plow and wing. One one-ton dump truck with plow and wing. Two three-quarter ton trucks with plows. And two sidewalk maintenance vehicles. Replaced vehicles to be traded in if deemed to be prudent by the public works director. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation. Wait a minute. It's a team by the public works director, town manager, and, and the board, board of selectmen. selectmen. Yes. Okay. Well, it, and the, what caught my eye was the uh, public works director. First of all, do we know whether these are uh, the six-wheel dump truck with plow and wing? Is that four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive? Do we know, Fred? Usually That's, those are two-wheel drive. Yeah, those are two-wheel drive vehicles. You think? Yeah. Okay. 
and uh, the Sanders. Uh, let's see. Stop with Sanders. Wait a minute. I thought it said Sanders. No, here. no Sanders. Sidewalk maintenance vehicles. That's not Sanders. No. No. Nope. No. And the two three-quarter ton trucks with plows. What I and sidewalk maintenance vehicles. I'd like to know which vehicles are going to be replaced from this. Um, it's in your long-range capital expenditures report. I want to you. know what is going off this list if we buy these vehicles. Well, if you don't, you didn't buy them last year either. So, um, no, I can I'm, get you. I can get you the vehicle numbers because we've got the I, whole. I don't think that's particularly important from the standpoint of, for instance, a six-wheel truck. Is now well over its 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 drop dead date. Good, then it should be cleaned out, sold and for scrap. And that's what they're trying to do. Trade well, it in. we want to trade it in, but we want to trade it in and purchase of a new vehicle. Yes, and that's fine as long as it gets off here, so I don't have to look at it every year. Well, that's what they with a ten next to it. Well, we haven't exactly cleaned out vehicles. That's what this warrant article says. That for every vehicle we purchase, we're getting rid of a vehicle. Where does it say that? So Replace vehicles to be traded in if deemed if uh, deemed prudent. to be prudent right. by if the they, public works director. If they are junk, then they can't be traded in because the people who take them will not take them. We have to strip them, and then we have to, at our expense, take them to a junkyard to see if we can get well, junk costs for them. Well, they're already sitting in a junkyard. Well, so I don't agree with that. are we asking if we have a consensus that we want to go forward with this or not? I'm losing so. contract. Con you know, yeah. I want to add add to this. I would. I am for this Warren article if we take it out of the unassigned fund balance. I'm not for this until we figure out what they're replacing so. and if the old crap is going to be gone. Since we're not doing, because we need the trucks. All right, we, we, we push off trucks year after year after That's year. That's right. The money's already there to spend. Let's take it out of the unassigned fund balance. We won't have a tax effect. Jim, look at all that. You know. It's Look at all this is coming from the public works there. director, which is fine. I, I would love to have him come in and explain. That's fine. Right. We can do that. Yeah, we can do that. I, I would like that before making a decision whether it comes from the NF fund, un, an assigned fund balance, or it goes in okay. to a warrant article. If we could have him come in, that would be, I think. Yeah. I agree. I think the consensus is that we, we need them, but we want to find out where the funding's going to come from. Okay. Okay. And what's going to happen to the old crappy vehicles? Right, right, right. We're not a salvage yard right, right, here, or right. we shouldn't be. The next one is the highway block grant. <clears throat> this is the paving. Mm -hmm. um, $590,170 for the next, next streets that are on the list to be, to be paved, and $316,231 of that sum is coming from the state of New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think go ahead I'm with that. for that to go yep. forward. I have a comment. Go ahead. I remember our, the fun we had with Belmont and Fairfield and so forth. We used to list 10 or 15 streets or whatever every single year, and of course, all of them never got done, and some, are, some streets were on there year after year. I want to know, I think for the public, I'm in favor of doing this, especially with the block grant, but only if there are specifics on there for the public for two, maybe two or three streets that will absolutely, positively get done if this funding okay, is. We have the two votes the only, here. Is there a third the only, vote? The, and the only thing I can say about that is that that whole list can change season to season, and that's what we found out last year. So uh, I have no problem going up forward with this. Part of it, we have no problem, and then we will. If, uh, if they, if Public Works doesn't have an idea now for 2019, what they need for roads, they and then they had the same problem last year when, when, uh, is it Forest or the other one? We lost two streets, oh, we, we lost in the two winter. streets in the middle of the winter because okay. of certain water and everything else. So, and it also doesn't make sense to pave a road if we're going to have to dig it up in two years or whatever Correct. our plan is to mm -hmm. replace yeah. the source. So we sure. have a consensus right. on yeah. that one. All right, so the next one is the Road Improvement Capital Reserve Fund. It's about 300000 to be added to the Road Improvement Fund. I think that's, that's, I, that's necessary. I, I'm consensus there. I think All right, there should I be think that's consensus. consensus. Yeah. yeah, I'm against it. I think we should allocate more money to the Public Works budget. 
Okay. And I, but I, I think I and, and don't give me I, I don't disagree with you. However, um, because of our always having default budgets, mm -hmm. this gives the public the actual choices of what they want to make, whether they want to do it or not. I know, but the public gets frustrated when they have like five hundred things to vote on. So I think if we simply explain it to the public, and then they get frustrated when they have a default budget, <laughs> like we are right now. Consensus there. <laughs> So, uh, not that I disagree with you, deal. Regina. I just think that that's that's what it is. So the next one I, is replacing. Wait, 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 wait. I think this should come under the road improvement capital reserve fund. I, I think that's how this should be funded. That's what we just said. So put money there. The next one is the uh, replace culverts at Tuck Field and Park Avenue. Fred, do you have any? Wait a minute. These culverts are in failure. In order to correct the drainage down in that area, these culverts have to be replaced. So what is the problem that's... Um, that they're old, they've fallen apart, they're, they're soft metal, yeah. and they've just reached their life. That's the one that I think should so. come under the road improvement capital reserve. Well, you know, we, for years we had sewer and drains. We yeah. had uh, yeah. upgrades. We never get in, it done. in our budget. We never get it done because we it was never funded. Yeah, mm -hmm. but this should be so, easy to fund through the capital reserve. And but that's the problem. We we've never funded it to get it done, and we've always when the when it comes to the public works budget, we've taken money out of that. And well, where did it come you, from? Can't you stipulate from, in the article to be taken from the capital reserve fund? If there's money put in the if fund, there's yes. money put in well, the you're fund. just talking about putting three hundred thousand in there. So if the money is there, yes. then you could do that. But if they, the fund gets voted down, you can't do it. Well, then well, can you put if if there is sufficient funding, if there is sufficient money in the capital reserve fund? I'm not going. I'm not voting to move this article forward. I'm not year. moving it for it either. Okay, that's fine. Okay. The next one is the can Elaine. Can you not move that forward? No. Okay. You want to move that one forward? No. The uh, Elaine sewer and drainage replacement. See, this is like what I'm trying to get to. We have these projects; they're always going to be there every single year, whether it's Elaine Street or whatever yeah. street. So why can't we just throw two, three hundred grand toward the public works budget, which, if you looked at it, has not increased at all, except for contractual obligations or wage-related obligations. I mean, what they're asking for is next to nothing, and they have to deal with everything. They have to deal with the playground not being able to get put up because of this drainage issue we have throughout the whole town, apparently. And, you know, just like adding things as a warrant article, I understand the method for reasoning in doing that is because if we have a default budget, then we won't get anything. Mm. But maybe we need to focus on having an operating budget that is actually what we need. And maybe if we explain that to enough people, they can get the word out and saying the so, board of selectmen and the town manager are not out there to attack the taxpayers. They're trying to make their mm -hmm. life as easy and as run as seamlessly as possible. You know, I mean, it's just we got to put more money. We, more money has got to go toward public and works. And I, I'm sorry. And I don't disagree with you, Regina. But what might be a better way to do this is you have a road improvement capital reserve fund. But we also have a sewer and drains definitely capital right. reserve yeah. fund and then you can take this article yeah the, and uh, all, the, whatever the happens. all the sewer and drainage articles could come out of that but yeah. you'd have to have a a, uh, a starting fund of that of probably five hundred thousand dollars to start with a mm -hmm. capital improvement fund mm -hmm. and if you did that 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 might take away some of these things but so long as people you continue to do that every year yeah and uh, you got any suggestions on that, Mr. Town Manager? Well, the reason it's not in the budget is simply because you have, how many members of the budget committee now, six? No, well, six Seven. and three. Six and three, so nine. nine so you need five votes to keep it in the budget. Mm -hmm. If you have five votes against, it comes out of the budget, you, there's nothing to be done. Right. So the reason warrant articles are done simply is to allow the people to make a choice as right. to what they want to have done. Right. Not what, not what a board or committee wants to have done. These mm -hmm. are just proposals in public works. So if you, have, if you have to go through a capital reserve fund, 
now you have to create the fund and now you have to have another warrant article to expend the fund if it's approved. If it's not approved, nothing happens, absolutely zero. It gets, it gets kind of confusing, but that's just <laughs> kind of the way the, the law works. So uh, the reason you have warrant articles like this is simply to let people make a decision. This sewer system needs yeah. to be replaced project along with the drainage. Project, yeah. So, Mr. Chairman? Yes. Okay. And the second uh, line, Fred, uh, six inch, you want to put clay. There's a typo there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fix that. And is, would this require easements? Because in this neighborhood, I'm not sure um, whether the lines can be run without maybe having a little problem. Um, Public Works knows better than I do. They but haven't asked for easements, so I'm assuming there is no need for easements. They're going to do that down the center of the street. Okay. Okay. I just a thought that occurred to Which me. Which would be the logical thing for them and to do. And they are going to be doing that street over? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because so. once we do this, you you do the sewer this year or 2019, 2020. You you put the permanent paving on the street after everything's settled. Yeah. So you don't get a big dip in the road. Yeah. Is the sewer failing? Yes, it's it's clay pipe. It's All gone. All the clay sewers. Yeah. Are... yeah. This is one of the ones that needs to be replaced. Yep. They're trying to do this on a priority basis. Yep. So this is a priority. Well, this well, would be the street that they would pick next to have done. Okay, well then I'm well, in favor of it. Leave it. We'll leave it in there for now. Yeah. The next one is replace the Eaton Park culvert. This is part of the Eaton Park culvert system. This one's in failure as well. Uh, it needs to be replaced as well. Is this no. is this why they can't put the playground mm -hmm. stuff? No, this in? is this is a little brook that runs down through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but would that be part of the drainage from the playground? No. It, it is. It does drain that general area of yeah, the park. Okay. Yes. It's wet. It's a wet. And yes. when they went to put in the the new playground equipment, it was, it was saturated. Saturated. Yeah. Well, I think there's two problems there, and that is that for years they've been they've been putting in material for the kids to land on that's soft. Yeah. <laughs> and of course that material sinks into the ground. So yeah. you, now you've got this bowl. Yeah. Of, of soft material that, that holds water. So that needs to be dug out. What this culvert does is go from the playground by, by Park Ave, crosses over to the playground over by the ball fields. Right. There's that little ditch that runs through there. That's what this culvert does. That's that ditch there. Okay. So. But again, this, this is a metal culvert. It needs to be replaced with a, with a plastic culvert so that it will last for the next 100 years instead of having to be replaced 25 years from now. But is it still functioning now? It's functioning, but poorly. It's it's in dis, it's going to collapse eventually. So who put this forward? Public Works. So seventy-one thousand five hundred, we can replace will that this. Help them be able to put the playground in. It'll be part of the solution. The air material that was put there and has allowed them to settle into the ground at the playground has to be dug out mm -hmm. and good fill put in and compacted. And now we'll do this? Well, this will help drain that area. Yeah. As long as it's going to be redone anyway. I don't have a problem with and this just, one. Yeah, and I don't have a problem with it either. I don't. Okay, I'll go with it too. I and don't really I, like you. Well, I, I, and, and just looking back, going back and looking at the one that we had replaced culvert systems at Tuck Field and Park Ave. Mm -hmm. Does that include the one that goes under Park Ave by the high school? Yes, sir, it does. Now, I know that one, when we camered it in a few years ago, it is all rotted out. It's mm -hmm. also collapsed partially. And it's partially collapsed. Now, we have buses that go over that all the time. Yeah. And that's that's a concern for me. So we have 175000 That's that one right there. That's that one, and I also believe the other one that's up on the other side isn't that the one that, because it says culverts? Yeah, there, in order to replace that culvert, there's that culvert system, there's one large culvert there now. It requires two, and the reason it requires two is that it has to go across the top of the sewer line. And if you don't have two smaller culverts, you're gonna to have to raise the road grade. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that, and I know they camera that, because I can remember back Oh, two or three years ago when they came in and they were concerned about losing that culvert. 
And again, that gets back to the number of years that we've taken stuff out of the, so getting back to a, a uh, uh, having a fund, capital reserve fund, for sewer and drains might help correct that. But I just yeah, wanted to let you know on that yeah, one. We've already right. gone by it, but that's. So we all set on that. We're yeah. set on that for now, but we yeah. might want to come back and look at a, yeah. uh, yeah. a instead of doing a number of these, look yeah. at a selectman's article to put in a capital reserve fund for will be. for uh, sewers and drains. Yeah. So the next one is uh, purchase a, an ejection trash trailer. I have questions. We need an additional trailer because we, uh, when we have three day weekends or we have large groups in the uh, the summertime, we, we have too much trash. We can't move it all. We have to store some of it. And we need another trailer or we're not going to be able to do that effectively. Now, on, am I? Go ahead. Okay. Um, Fred, the third line down, right after transfer station, you want this. That's another typo. Yeah. And um, it, now we have six trailers already. This would be a seventh. Yep. Uh, well, it, it calls it a trash ejection trailer. Is that any different from the six that we already have? No, this is a large over-highway ejection trailer. Yeah. Um, there are two types of trailers you can buy. One has a, what they call a walking floor, right. and, and the floor moves like this to move stuff off the end, but right. it takes probably 15 minutes, 20 right. minutes to offload. An ejection trailer is done in two, two minutes flat. Okay, so it's not exactly the same as the current ones. It's a little it's better because it'll... It, no, we have ejection trailers. That's all we've got. Same as we oh, have. all this right. Is the same as so the ones So it's the same as the other one. We just need a seventh one right. because Correct. of all the pileup. Okay, um, let's see. And the Too fire system in included, I don't I think they have that in the other trailers, but I know sometimes the yard horse has to yank one of those trailers out so the transfer station doesn't burn down? Well, we told them uh, after the last transfer trailer fire that we had that each transfer trailer that we purchase in the future is going to have a two and, inch, two and a half inch fire hose coupling in the ceiling so that we can just simply attach a fire hose to it, turn it on, and put the fire out. So this will and have that? Rather than ejecting the entire load out into the yard and letting it burn and put it out by piece. Right. And I believe that the, the new tractor, we the new... Yard horse, yard we horse. Bought, has the hydraulics on it, so we can dump that trailer if we have to. I That's think. correct. So, yep. which was the problem before, we right. didn't have a vehicle that we could dump it. Right now, right. we have a vehicle that will dump it. But are we going to have that fire hose coupling? Yeah, yeah, that's a requirement. Right. Okay. Excellent. I'm f I'm in favor. I'll go for it. All right. We don't want to have any fires if we can avoid Replace it. Replace no, the water don't. line at DPW facility. That's uh -huh. broken somewhere out in the yard. Could be in several different places. Now we only use the water at the public works building, uh, where the garages and the offices, uh, by turning it on sporadically during the day. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it just runs constantly. So the, the the unit needs to be replaced. The unit that's in there now, we can't even put a fire hydrant on it. Yeah. The pipe is too small. It's only a two-inch pipe. Oh my God. So we need to put in a proper fire protection system uh, and we need to put in the proper piping in order to hold a hydrant and a uh, regular hydrant for the fire department and then we'll extend that eventually around the around the property so that the rest of the property can be controlled for fires I, I have sure. another question okay do we have a map is public works working from a map on this as to where these lines would go would there be easements possibly for adjacent properties? This is all on town property. It doesn't, well, but you don't want everything all all crammed in. Is there a way to to um, move it along? Move it along, uh, say Pennyman and Elaine, or we, you want to stay away from the actual physical plant? There are already are water lines running down into Hardard's Way, that general area because we already have water lines in there. Uh, the purpose of this is to simply put in a new water line that will be today's modern standards and be able to put hydrants in and extend that line as needed. Okay, so now... We wouldn't come down Peniman or any of those other streets simply okay. because you're right, we would need easements, we'd need to go up and cut. Yeah. And, and you don't want to be compromising existing, because <coughs> there's an awful lot of pipes down there. Well, 
That's um, true. It doesn't stipulate. Are they, are they talking six inch or eight inch hydrants? Uh, hydrants are five and, five, and, five and a half inch. They're called five and a half inch hydrants. That's a standard hydrant for fire protection purposes. I can't tell you off the top of my head what size this line is, but it's, it's probably going to be an eight inch line. Yeah, I think that we sh would help if we knew that. Fred, go down four lines. You've got Will, you've got another typo there on the right-hand side, right after fire protection. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I think it would help, though, to see a diagram of the compound and where Public Works is thinking or planning on relocating this stuff. I'd like to see exactly where it's going to go. I don't think it'd be a problem for them to get oh. that ready to, to put on the big screen um, when no. we're doing I'll the ask them for a plot plan. I'm not an engineer. That's what they do. That's what their job yeah. is. Right, and but I don't I think, think anybody it, on this table would is help, an engineer. Uh, Rusty, I think it would help to have it because they have on the screen sometimes. Well, why don't you wait and okay. ask to discuss it with the DPW director? Yeah. yeah. So I know it needs to be done. But I'd All just right. like to see something so, so the public can is can that, We're going to do that one. one. Yeah. yeah. All right. The next one is the uh, Sidewalk Capital Reserve Fund. Ah. So this will be, uh, we already have the fund? No, we don't. Yeah. So this will be Start it, right? establishing a, yeah. a fund. A fund and yeah. starting it with $100,000. Right. So. I'm, I'm opposed to this. Um, <laughs> in... God, in the early 90s, uh, the young lady was uh, killed running uh, in the evening at the end of High Street, and there was a big uh, uproar and a request for a sidewalk from Five Corners to Ocean Boulevard, and the sidewalk was funded, and it was constructed, ADA compliant, and people still run in the street because they don't like to go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah. So I'm a little, uh, um, I'm not necessarily enamored of the ADA uh, compliance. Well, second, second, um, I don't want to start another fund. And what about the Safe Routes to School project, which isn't off the ground yet? And that was for a sidewalk from the high school all the way down to uh, whatever, the school on Winnicott Road, Center School. And I don't see any signs of that being constructed. You'll have to ask the state to fund it. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Because that's ha. where the money comes from. Yeah, but, you know, that's been in, that's been planned, and the school's been asking for so it. So we have a consensus on the I th I'm in sidewalk I would. reserve fund. I'll be in favor of it if it comes from the unsigned fund balance. No. That's, that's fine. All right, so we have consensus. We have it. Why, why, why isn't it just a regular? I'd rather see a, uh, uh, a if we're going to have a fund, improvement fund, do it for sidewalks in general. Right. Oh, that's what this that's would what be. This is, what it is. Yeah. This is a general fund you just for sidewalks. You have to do ADA by, <laughs> by law. If you do it new, you have to no, do it by the that. ADA. And well, I think you should make it clear in the Warren article that mm. it's for sidewalks. Mm. That should yeah. be done to begin with. Yeah. yeah. I have and another point, gentlemen, and, and Regina. The concrete sidewalks we've put in, I like a heck of a lot better than the hot top sidewalks. But the concrete sidewalks, I don't think, have ever, ever been um, annually, they're supposed to be um, painted with some kind of a substance to keep them in place. What, what are you talking or envisioning here? Are you trying to do the hot top sidewalks like by Marston on High Street or cement hidewalk, sidewalks? I think there's a fairly good difference there. And even just looking at them, even just from a point of view of their surroundings. I think you'll have to ask Public Works. If, yeah. I, if I were to answer the question, I would suggest to you that we're doing asphalt sidewalks. Yeah, because it's cheaper. It's not only cheaper, but they're easier to, to maintain. maintain. Correct. Well, yeah. since we haven't tried to maintain any of the concrete sidewalks, I'm not surprised. I got to say, I think the reason why this is getting started, I haven't verified this exact question with the town manager, but I'll ask him right now, is because 
But we zeroed out the line item for sidewalks, right? Did we zero that out in the budget? It's gone. It's there, gone. There's no money. Because what was there was like not even enough, enough to, to get anything Correct. done. Right, right. So by starting this and putting the 100000 in this year and making it clear that it's for mm. whatever sidewalks we need to be clear that it's going to be asphalt. Yeah. I yeah. think, I think well, it's going to be. The only problem with that is ugly. There, there are certain places. You know, I, I don't care if they're ugly. They're easy to maintain. However, you get into areas like downtown, mm -hmm. they really have to be cement right because of that area so i i don't if you i don't think you handcuff yourself mm. to just asphalt I think but i think a majority of the down. town can have asphalt sidewalks yeah. yeah well i would say that these should be in the rest of the town but if they want to do uh concrete ones up a town then we should have a special warrant article just for that hmm. sometime in the future in the i future. think that we should let people know that we're going to try to do something with the sidewalks <laughs> and go and where we can get the most bang for the buck so we can accomplish more. And in the future... Uh, not that I disagree with you, Rick. Yeah. No, and in the future, if the downtown mm -hmm. needs something, then have a special warrant article for that. Mm. Yep. Okay. That's how I would see it. It's included, for instance, in the warrant article to do the drainage on uh, yeah, Lafayette so Road. Usually goes with and that's going to be like concrete. That. Right. Yeah. And that's when you want to really yeah. go with Right. The, yeah. yeah, and I, I don't disagree with you, but I just yeah. I was thinking of a, a reason why we might want, want to just exclusively right. say right say anything. Yeah. that's good Hot top. but yeah. you know even at the, the way the state does it they they do they do all asphalt um except when you're right well they don't maintain them that's what uh, <laughs> they uh, i will tell you though they don't maintain them that's but true. they lasted for at least 50 years before they gave out yep oh i yeah uh, the one that in front of my house still looks good but it's where the uh, drains uh, allow water to sit that yeah. deteriorate. Right. Yeah. Yep, you're right. The actual sidewalks hold up yep. pretty well unless they're yeah. uh, sabotaged by lousy drainage. Yeah. Right. That's it. That's um, the bottom line. Good drainage so will save sidewalks. We'll leave that in there right now yeah. for, for a, a uh, capital reserve fund yeah. for that. Okay. Next Humans. one we have is a capital reserve fund for the... Human service agency. No, we have no. a capital reserve fund for turnout gear. No, human service agencies is next. I've got my packet. Well, then I your packet is wrong. I yeah. Well, I didn't, I, I didn't put it together. So it says the next one we have annual town meeting is articles. turnout gear. Turnout human gear. Okay. So we have a, uh, a capital reserve fund uh, to purchase the turnout gear, and we'll start the, the sum of two hundred thousand dollars to establish the fund. Will come from the unassigned fund balance. So I'm that's a good yes. idea. Yep. I mean, that's, that's an necessity. And Absolutely. That's oh, yeah. A necessity. And be yes. something and the next one's a given. That's right. So we're all in favor. So the next one is the human service agencies. And these are all that's, people that have gotten yep. money. That's no problem for me. That's all right. fine. And they give us a report on. Yes, each one of them files are in a report as it comes mm -hmm. due. Okay. And the next one's a given, too. And the reevaluation. I have a question yeah. on that. I have people, a couple of people called me and said that they, you know, we just put out the second uh, tax bills mm -hmm. in, of the year. And they're saying that their valuation has changed from the June tax to this December so. one. And I'm not aware. It, I think the last reval was 2014 or 2015. 16. It should be like five years in between. Some of them can be done. In well, the office, can't they? We just had a reval two years ago. Yeah, yeah. It depends on what your ratio. And is. and the reason we did that was because the ratio dropped below ninety percent. The, the law says that once it drops below ninety percent, we have to reval the town again. So this isn't. We're a already into the eighties. Formal evaluation. This is a formal revaluation. That's right. Reval. This is a statistical revaluation <clears throat> by looking at the the sales of property. The same we do for regular revaluation. Yeah. So you and, said that right, But the problem that, is that the properties are selling for so much money in town now that <clears throat> our equalization ratio is dropping so quickly. If we were to go, we, we have to do all property in 2021. That's the five year threshold. We have to do it every five years by constitutional requirement. If we did that, our, our equalization ratio, we're thinking at the current rate of decline, would be somewhere in the, the low 70s or, or high 60s. Okay. And there'd be a huge balloon yeah. in the taxes. So we made the adjustment 
between official town-wide valuations to keep up with that equalization ratio. Well, this would be an official town-wide revaluation. We just we're look, the hundred and fifty thousand is the same price we put in two years ago. Yeah. We we've asked uh, several firms for quotes. But we haven't got the new reval done yet, is what I'm saying. So yes, we just did one two years ago. Two years ago, we did one. But, we're gonna have to but that's, that, that doesn't account for a change between your June bill and your did December they get a, bill. Did they get a building permit during the year or during the previous year? That's what I was going to say. Oh, they, they, yeah. they, they yeah, said they had nothing had changed, but I don't know. Well, you have, okay. don't know if they're telling you the real so story. So this is okay. for this Warren article, so I think... And we'll, we'll, we're still looking for figures on that. That's the, that, that figure is from last revaluation. Okay. So we still need a cost from MRI? We need a cost oh, oh. from three, three different agencies, three and we've asked for them. We need bids yeah. from MRI. Well, quotations. Well, not just MRI. From well, okay, bids from at least three. So yeah. the next one is the Recreation Infrastructure Special Revenue Fund, and this goes to uh, perform... A needs assessment for future parks planning to replace or fix fencing at the inline rink, to renovate the Uptown Eaton Park building, to purchase surface materials for playgrounds, to purchase a snowblow for the recreation truck, to install a share structure for five no corners, playground, to replace mm -hmm. two dugouts at Tuck Field, to replace, uh, replace cave building, Tuck building doors with new lock system as determined by the Board of Selectmen, the town manager, and the director of parks. Yeah. And authorize this funds to come out of the infrastructure fund. That's what I, that fund's for, right? That's right. What yes. that fund's for. I yeah. agree that's with correct. this, but on the floor of the deliberative session, I will I will move to remove the installing whatever that structure is for five corners. Other than that, I don't have a problem with it. That's, that's something. What, that's the bus stop for the kids. That's there. the bus stop. A little why does it say the bus stop? Because they're using it for multi-purposes, that's why. God love us. So. That goes forward, huh? Okay. The next yeah. one is the town meeting Warren Arc IT. Yep. The IT for, for the town for upgrading uh, services at police, fire, public works, town departments, and to replace upgrade computers and other equipments. Definitely for this one. And, this one. and it'll be a non-lapsing appropriation. So, and it will come um, from the unassigned fund balance. To outsource, what, does that mean going with the cloud or some, I don't understand, what are you going to outsource to? Right. And outsource the town's website hosting yeah. services. But outsource it to whom? To a outsourcer. To a web to outsourcer? To a website. To an outsourcer, I guess, would be the, yeah. yeah. No the sourcers, website. but an outsourcer. <laughs> to a website service company. Or a, yeah, right. Well, yeah. I'm not. Posting company. And Fred, uh, second sentence from the bottom on the right, you want to put, there's another typo. See where laps is, the very bottom on the right-hand side, second line up. Oh, yes. Shall not yeah. laps, just yeah. you want to correct the typo. So we're moving this one forward. Yeah, we're moving that one. The next one is the uh, Police Forfeiture Special Revenue Fund, which is. That's a normal That's a no brainer. Fund. That's no problem. Electronic formatting paper documents. That's, we should continue And we've already that. done this before. Yeah. Yep. And yep. so that's another one. Cemetery tree removal. Why isn't this going to come out of the cemetery budget? It, it, it comes is. out of their trust fund. It comes out of the trust fund. That's why it's a spe special warrant article. Well. It comes out of their maintenance fund. All three of the cemetery ones. Are yes. Right? Yes. Right. Yeah, that comes out of their fund that they Authorized have. Authorized funding through the cemetery burial trust. Right, and, and they okay. have a so they have that one. Okay. They have the purchase a tractor loader for the cemetery. Right. And they have a uh, complete the cemetery building so they can put the heat and stuff in there. That they right. Need. And that'll all come out of the the cemetery trust fund. Uh, trust, trust fund, fund correct? Yeah. Complete cemetery. Hazardous waste building. collections. Yes. This will give us this, two. This will do, give us two. It's similar to what we've done in the past couple of years. We do right. it with Newcastle yep. to share the cost. It's better than having people throw trash in the woods. Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. For it. So the Conservation Land Acquisition Fund, <coughs> they're asking us to yep. raise and appropriate 20000 to be placed in the fund. They would, I was told today they may come in and ask for additional funds because they're looking to purchase a piece of property. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. They can do that at the deliberative session. Right. I would think. Well, they may give you something before then. Oh. That would be nice. Okay. So then we have the uh, the office, the town no. hall office doors. Yeah. The inside I've doors, had, which replaced the yeah. outside ones. It's the second done. figure should change, too. I've had a lot of complaints on that uh, because people love the outside doors and they come in and then they try to from their wheelchair, try to yank on the inner doors. So, it's kind of so too bad yeah, we didn't do both do last yes. year. Yes, so the second yeah, sum will be the 16440? Yeah. 16440. So and, and I'm in favor. Number, number, line number four? Yeah. That'll I'm be sorry. a I big just circle help. that. Big okay. help for people. The Naval Committee. This will be the town of Hampton Rose raise an appropriate the sum of $10,000 for first supporting the town of Hampton, USS Hampton, and Naval Committee. I don't. I, I don't know if we want to. Do we want to call it the USS Hampton or do we want? To, I, we can call it anything you want. The new one is what? The USS, USS Virginia. Virginia. But it could be into you know, and we're going to start a fund, but then. We already know. have a fund, don't we? Or no. No, no, we don't. Oh, okay. Can we call it? Town we of had Hampton? one. Town we had one, but it was forfeited. Put Town of Hampton Visiting Submarines Fund or something like Naval that. Naval Committee Fund. Naval or Committee okay. Fund. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. yep. So, all right. So that's we can do that. Okay, Fund 21 balance to unassigned fund. What is Fund 21? We, um, yeah, I have, to, I have to think about this now. We've got so many bloody warrant articles. It, fund 21 was the fund that was taken from um, before the money went to the Recreation Department. It went for, for improvements to street lighting at the beach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And we had money left in there last year. Uh, of forty-one thousand six hundred sixteen dollars and nineteen cents, and I asked that you asked the town. I ah, suggested yes. the warrant article. The town turned it down. Mm -hmm. They will not spend the money for that purpose. So we might as well just put it in the general fund. Excellent. And use it to decrease taxes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Excellent. So the next one is police paid detail cost. So yep. the town of Hampton vote to amend the chapter, please strike from the end of the paragraph it starts plus 30 percent and substitute plus 50. right didn't we already do this as a no we didn't this 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 actually has to be amended in the uh, ordinance uh and it requires a town vote to do that um and that's just more money for us right that, well, that's that's money that comes in from private vendors into the yeah. town right yeah i mean because so that it's to help pay more than what it costs yeah more of the costs exactly yeah, vehicles okay. out of this yeah. Yeah. um Fred, at the, on the line that starts with note, do you mean the percentage require payments or that it looks awkward there? I'm not no. quite sure how you want the to. The note doesn't it. go in. That's just for you, for, for your information, for you folks. But um, percentage. Right now, there anybody that hires a a, pay, a patrolman or a firefighter is required to pay 30 percent towards the cost of right. retirement and everything else. Right. Those costs have gone up. Yeah. <clears throat> and we're not recovering as much as we should. Yeah. So we have to increase it to 50% to make sure yeah. the town doesn't pay anything out of taxes. That's but, the whole purpose of this. But that wording is a little awkward. She, so again, want, that's just for us. It's that's not just a note for you from us. That note won't show no, it won't in the show item. Oh, okay. All right, I'm good with that. All right. The next one is repeal of false alarm fees, and we're doing that because the law doesn't want yes. us to do that anymore. And that's, that's right. We just yeah. have to do it. Yeah. The police department will take care of that if there's, a, if there's a problem. And the next one is to increase the veterans' optional tax credit right. from yes. 500 to 750. Yeah. That was a new bill that passed this year. Definitely. Yeah. And the same one is a change in the veterans' service connected disability. That's a no, change in the law. That's a too, change. Right? That's that's about a 20 well, year old change. Well, okay, wait. A I have a question on this one. Does this apply to new veterans? Or existing applies to any veterans. Oh. veterans. We have we have a, a couple of people who are currently under this. There are some people. Well, there are a number of people yes. who are covered and, by and this. if a new person comes in, they would be under this law. So it's a new person. It won't. It no, won't. it'll affect everybody that's currently under the law. Oh, okay, yep. that was my question. No, no, it'll affect everybody uniformly. Okay. So, so the next one is an optional tax credit for combat service. Correct. This is brand new. This has never been around before. Uh, it allows the town to give up to a $500 exemption if we have a member of the New Hampshire National Guard 
or the Armed Forces Reserves who lives in town and is called to the active duty combat, they can have a $500 exemption on their property taxes while they're in combat. So this wouldn't apply to existing veterans. No, this is not for veterans. This is for active it's duty. It's just a current active, active duty. Active yeah. duty Correct. people. If, yeah. they, if, they get, if they get activated. I'm in favor of that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Next one is annual town meeting Warnockle no smoking ordinance. Excellent, Fred. No smoking ordinance. Excellent yeah. job. Have you guys been following those new uh, two uh, locations in Massachusetts where they're now authorized to sell marijuana and yep. all that stuff? My question on this one is, will our officers have the technology, and I don't know what it is, because they said it's very different from doing the dr the liquor, um, you know, alcohol. Uh, this is not for, for pot. This is for regular tobacco. This is for any smoke. Any, any, any. Yes, but if you have people who are, um, what, I don't know, violating. We don't have the technical expertise to answer well, that no, question. No, yeah, no, and we're not, we're not, by this ordinance, we're not trying to enforce no, federal and state laws. Thing. Okay, right. you it's just not, it's not no a smoking say where you can't do it. Whatever it is you're right. smoking, right. you can't do right. it. Okay. The next one is for a code enforcement officer. We still have to get the dollar figure for this, but this okay. would give you a code. I, I think this we is something that all, everybody here thinks we should do. I have do. a question on that, too, because my inclination <clears throat> is to look for two part-time. That way you don't have the benefits, and in case one or the other is sidetracked or something happens or whatever, I would be inclined to push for two code enforcement officers and and cut out the full-time salary benefits whatever I think it's probably a better way and a more a more appealing way to get this and I think that it would help um, tremendously to have two, uh, two I don't know if it's more appealing because I want to see us try to get somebody that will do the job Yes, and but can we get two and knock off the benefits? Well, that's the problem. When you have such a good economy, especially like we have right now. All right. Go ahead. Rick has to go, so we're going to yeah, okay. yeah. wish him well. Yeah. Good luck, Rick. Good luck, Again, Rick. you need anything? Give a holler. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So um, I, I think at this time it is set up to, for, to be a right. full-time position. Yeah. And... My, my thing is, especially with the economy the way it is right now, you can't find part-time people. You can't find full-time people. But to Well, find you might be able to find individuals who have retired or who have stepped aside and would like something to keep them busy and they have some experience. I wouldn't be looking for really young people to take Can we get the, the figures on what it costs for full-time with benefits? Yeah, and what that, that can come back to us. It cost, and then yeah. we can make a decision. Yeah, we're working on that. That can come back to us. Right, okay. So that one will the next one is the fire uh, is the uh, raising appropriate the sum for the purpose of the fire uh, to hire four additional firefighters EMT and the fire department over the above the positions funded by the 19 budget to authorize the board of selectmen to apply for the contract and accept federal homeland security safer funding estimated at 221 thousand to be applied against said appropriation the cost the cost in the year two is estimated at 311 and the in federal funding estimated be 233598 and in yeah. year three it'll be 328 with a cost being 115,000 and then federal safer grants pay for salary and benefits yeah. and this will be null and void if the federal funding is not approved or received yeah. and there's no help after those three years that's just three years Correct. for starter. Correct. I, I went over my listing for uh, turnout gear, and I did a little counting today. Well, we're not talking about turning out gear right now. We're talking no, about No, 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 but paper. what I'm talking about is, this, is the well, this uh, is what, staffing in the department. The staffing we, hasn't changed. We have changed. only 29 firefighters. And that hasn't changed in, in what I know, but years. 29, I think, is, is the number to focus on. You have your lieutenants, captains, EMS, and two chiefs. But what leaves you, what you are left with is only 29 bodies to staff that department. Exactly. Yeah. That's why we're saying we want to increase so, it. So I'd like to mention that we need 
to upgrade from 29. And I think the important thing is that it allows us to man an ambulance at the beach full time. Yes. That's what I was going to say. And that's, that's an important thing. Where now they can't do that. This will allow them to man the ambulance at the beach full time. And I think doing it through the Firefighter Safer Grant. Yeah. I was com making some comparisons as to if we were to just pay without applying for this grant, which I think definitely needs to be done. Yeah. Because they pay, the first year they pay. Uh, Using the grant as a kickoff. Yeah. Way to get started. It's like 75% the first year. Yeah. And the second year, and then it drops down right. to 35%. Mm -hmm. But what would the cost be for just one year? I had a discussion with the chief about it one time, and it would be a total expense of, like, I think over 400000 just mm -hmm. for the, if the town didn't, didn't mm -hmm. apply for this grant just yeah. to staff four people for one year. Yeah. So right. this well, is, is if you look, because we have another article after this yes. that says... Uh, Without grant. That it'll be July... Yeah. 19 and so that's covering it for six months right and that's at 295 so you're talking almost five hundred thousand right. dollars if if we did not go for the safer grant the other thing right. to think about yeah. and you may recall a couple years back was all the building going on on the west side of town there has been talk of locating a secondary fire um, uh, I haven't heard that talk in, 20, in 15 no, years. No, it's, let's, it's let's more stick recent. With the, so let's, it's more know. recent, Rusty. Let's but stick with the Warren article. And that, that was when they also were talking about abandoning this station and moving the second yeah. one over there. I'm so in favor of this Warren article. So but I'm in favor I, uh, of this Warren article, I think too. this is good. I'm Regina? Good. Okay. I'm very good with it. Mill Road Sewer Replacement. Molten. Molten Road, I'm sorry. Molten Road Sewer Replacement, 989. I think this is something that needs to be done, however... I would like to see them come back and, and do it in phases. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, this, is a, this is, you know, this is almost a million dollars to do that one road, and I'm hoping that they could come back and do that in three phases, and we do it over time. And then, that, but that would give us three years. It would give us the chance to do a lane in Richards, a lane in Richard Street, and then it would get us chance to do this. And then, because you're going to pave it at the same time, at that time you could address some of the issues of the the speed on there. Was after we do a traffic study, which is what was the recommendation of the police, police chief, chief. and uh, even actually in the meantime, we can do some some traffic things there at the recommendation of the police chief. So, are you talking three separate articles over a three-year period? You would have to, you would yeah you would have to. So do you're going to start it, and then next year somebody says no, and you're stuck. Yep. Yeah. I don't like doing. Well, I don't like I that. don't like coming up with another million dollars in one year to do it for this. Well, it, we have we are so far behind with the roads. You're you're certainly right. Uh, that, that's been over years of neglect this, this from is, this town. Well, this is sewer, right? This is sewer. Because, so, it's because of the old clay sewer. Sewer drains, roads, and sidewalks. So yeah. if right. we did a fund for that, these are like things that we could build up to work. You could have, have you could done. take it out of the fund and then have the rest of it come, uh, the the road part then of it come offset out of it. it by an appropriation. Fred, right. Fred, can we look Whatever at the we UFB have. and it, did. And take uh, an uh, get an idea if we could fund, say, this project using the UFB, and then keep building up the fund for the next couple of years. That we've already agreed to take out what a million for to reduce the tax rate. Did we do that? We didn't do it. No. Because no. Okay. Have all these bonds well, that's even up. better then. If we could possibly, if it, we could at least explore the possibility of funding this, so we were guaranteed that we'd get it done. We've got to get these road projects done. So we'd be, uh, and then keep working at building up the UFB again to the, um, to a roughly where we have it now. You know, if we end up. I don't year, want to do it piecemeal. If we ended up. This year, in the deficit, we're going to have to take money out of the unsigned fund. Comes out automatically, yeah. Yeah, which is so it's important for us to maintain that level in there. Yeah, and not for this to year. Train it. Yeah. I think this should become next year's. Yeah, I in, think it should be. In, in two year. years, we're going to have a bulge in the tax rate. Yeah. That's why we held the money this year. Yeah, right. So we should we should hang on to that and not. Think I, I think I think that's one that we can probably put. We, we're already. I think we do one major sewer drain project a year, but then with the fact of coming back with a 
capital improvement fund, looking at doing a capital improvement fund yeah. so that we can do that. Yeah. So. Well, one of my concerns was that we, we, we had never finished the beach. And we got a lot of infiltration through the beach. Mm -hmm. And we need to finish those roads down there in order to stop that infiltration. Or we just might as well just treat the harbor because that's what we're doing. Yeah. That's a very expensive proposition. We can cut our costs if we can get the infiltration done. So yeah. that needs to be considered and, too. And again, that would be part of the uh, of a capital improvement fund yeah. if we could take yeah. so much out of that each year to right. do certain things like that. Yeah. High Street is High Street is disgusting from five corners all the way to Route One A. I agree. I mean, there's, there's all these so Lock so. Road is disgusting. We have more road problems, and we are just. We just well, well our it, it's been years and years of I know of, of I mean, boards of selectmen not yeah. not approving yeah doing any stuff they want to keep the taxes low keep the taxes low and and yeah. and we all want to keep our taxes low but it, it, at the yeah. cost of what yeah. so the last one and and no impact fees imposed by the planning board so the last one we have here is. Uh, the one that says the town of Hampton shall vote raise an appropriate 295 to hire four additional firefighters for the yes. exclusive positions provided in the budget. Okay. The four additional firefighters will be hired on or after July 19. Additional firefighters will provide the 10 sh members per shift to allow full time ambulance coverage capabilities at both yeah. stations. So that would give us a total of 37 if we do the well, four and four. Well, if the grant passes. Yeah. I, uh, I don't is this in lieu of the grant, or is this an extra this four? Is, it's, I think it's one or the other. If we don't get the grant and this one passes, you'll still get okay. four. Because I looked at it as four and then f four more. To no, bring see, you I, up. I looked at it no. as getting four, and you're either going to get them through the grant, and if the okay. grant doesn't pass, then Should we're asking. Should that be written in here? That could be written. That in that it would make it a contingent article. Yeah, because yes. otherwise, yes. Right. Might, somebody will say, "No, you're getting eight. Right. Well, that's what I thought. Right. So can we can we look at changing that? Wording? Yeah, I just thought we wouldn't. You either do either or. Just yeah, to I throw think we should just out. do the federal grant one. Well, put, well, yeah, no, right. put the no, put the put on the wording people. on the federal grant thing. If this does not pass, article such and such, whatever the heck you're numbering it, uh, will. Uh, fill the bill or something like that. So what you're saying is if the federal... Put the firefighter article, put the four article first mm -hmm. and then put the put the um, funding I don't think we should have it. this one on here. I think we should just do the grant one. So if, if the grant fails, we don't get any memo. I don't want to do that. Why don't we put the four, adding the four, Why and then fail? if in case it fails, idea. put the grant out mm -hmm. as the next article after it. That's what I would do. What does Jim think? We need it. I'll go with that. I think I think that's I think yeah. Yeah. So we'll put that one yeah. first. Yeah. And then if the then it, we can add to the safer grant that if the safer grant passes, article number of the we'll other one will be null and void. Will be null and void. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because we've we got to get more staffing. Okay. So what we can do staff. is have there are a number of these from Public Works. Yeah. Yep. And so can we have them come in? Sure can. At our next meeting? Yep. And we will discuss what's going on with the, them, and that will give us more. Were there any other grants that you, any other articles that you felt you needed no. more information I on? I do want to talk to Public Works about That's what I've those, just asked. Those vehicles. So, yep. they're, they're, so the, the ones that deal with Public Works, can we have them come in and give yeah. yeah. presentations on I'm going to make sure on the, the old junk is had. gone. Yep. Yeah. Can okay. do. Uh, yeah. So the next now, one. Now, do these get passed on to the budget committee now? Not or? until after you approve them. Okay. If you if you kill them, they're not going anywhere. Right. Obviously. Yeah. And so, you have only three more meetings to do it. Um, so yes, um, and then we got plenty of time. Uh, so they're going to be here at the next well, meeting. And if we an need if we need to have another meeting, we will schedule that, which we've already said we would do. Okay. So, uh, the other thing we had was we had a. Um, petition warrant petition article. warrant article for the 2019 Christmas parade. Yeah, and uh, without Which exception, Christina gave that to you. And yep, that it has in. to go on the warrant yeah. anyhow. So we just put it in. So yeah. it'll that be the first non-submitted article. For right. No, okay. non-selectments article. Right. 